Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as a Chichen Itza, as we will, hopefully, finish off Nueva Atlan in this video. So, right now, uh, between this episode and the last, I have decided to go ahead and rearrange our front lines. Now, we obviously have a few divisions attacking right now. Totally fine. Let these guys finish up their attacks, because right now we want to reorganize our lines, because we have a fairly large deficit of guns as well as demolition equipment and we suffered about 3.6 3600 losses so far in this war compared to the enemy's 31,000 almost 32,000 so let us finish this off as quickly as possible and then make sure that we are ready for any incoming war because Petro Chico is at war with Moctezuma Santa Ana is looking very scary right now he is taking out the Rio Pact, which is not good for us whatsoever. Actually, concerning Santa Ana, uh, this is, what is that? Yeah, that's Santa Ana, I believe, and the Free Fighters and the Rio Pact. Yep, if the Republic of the Rio Grande falls, they're all screwed. Holy crap, that's terrifying. Everyone is screwed if the Republic of the Rio Grande falls. That's not good because the Republic of the Rio Grande has no manpower. That's right. Ooh, baby. Ooh, the Day of Ka'an. I really hate the Day of Ka'an because it keeps sucking away manpower from me that I could really, really use. But nope, it must do this to me. Uh, let's do some more naval stuff since... It, oops. It's been a while since we've actually added new naval ships or just things in general. Let's make sure we get the best ships possible, perhaps. Sails, sails, and sails. Paddle wheels, paddle wheelers, paddle wheelers, and paddle wheelers. Uh, river barge. Trireme. Uh, someone helped me yesterday pronounce this correctly. It's a trireme. So, if you didn't know how to pronounce that, now you know, just like me. I was saying it wrong for the past 16 years of my life. Trireme. Try, trireme. Cool. So, let our guys get a little bit more reorganized. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. That's really, really, really bad. But, it's not like Moctezuma. Or not Moctezuma, but uh, Speaker Yanesia Atslani. Uh, ooh, you fall ill? That's fine, whatever. Oh, they have almost no manpower now and very not a lot of divisions. Good. So I did put my uh, some of my divisions up here. Obviously, we definitely need a lot more resources. Triplane attackers, as much as I love you and I want more and more and more of you. Um, put you near that. I definitely need more guns, so... Yeah, if we have to do that, so be it. Put you at the bottom. You're not super important to make... Oh. You're not... Come on. There you go. Make, make at least a few of you. Yeah, these definitely need more stuff. So, we will do another attack. I don't think that Nueva Aslan has really the factories to really push out more equipment. Oh, they're still in civilian economy somehow. Oh, what happened up there? And that, there is your Neo-Japanese nation taking out New Reno. So we're definitely not going to see any part of the Enclave come from this series. And Kaiser is just whooping some NCR booty. That's not good. <laughs> That's really not good. Santa Anno and, her, and his robots are trying to whoop everyone else as well. Offer a sacrifice to Hun Nal Yi. God, I hate this one so much. You lose 2,200 man... Well, really. More like 2,500, maybe 2,600. 2,500 manpower. And there's a little bit more stability. I don't like that at all. Ooh, but product will be moderate for next year. Whatever. All right, so is there any way we can get across the river there? No. Ooh. Oh, Los, Los Geros de Honduras wants to provide some extra stuff. Thank you, my puppet. I could really use more and more and more stuff. And thank you for helping me because I'm still suppressing you. I know you love suppression, just like all of us. Also, one thing I do want to note is that if we want more cores, it's going to cost us political power instead of electricity like last time, because when we were playing as Tlaloc and really Maximilian over here, uh, it used electricity. But if I can get enough political power, then I can get more manpower. And that'll be fun. That'd be a very, very, very fun thing to do. Uh, for you, uh, Spec Ops, you are prioritized for supplies, which is good. Put you on low. I want to make sure that we get enough reinforcements. Because, good God, we need a lot of reinforcements. That's a lot that we really need. Ooh, another factory? What are we building? A civilian factory as we're trying to rebuild a lot of places here. That's not really worth it in my opinion. Because 
well, things are always going to get broken when we have partisans, so I'm not really going to care about that too much. Uh, for you guys, um, industry, more industry, production cap, growth, and dockyard output, yes, please. Uh, we have plenty of coast guards now, plenty, plenty, plenty of coast guards, and actually, you might be able to double up as potential resistance people. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Yeah, you should be fine not doing that. Oh, we actually have just enough for the entire area. Good. So give our guys a little bit more of a break. Actually, I could use my puppets divisions. Where are you 12? You're down here. Oh, yeah, just go ahead and attack. Uh, except for you guys. You just kind of stay there. Um, there you go. Yeah, I use the puppets divisions and manpower. Not our own right now. We're still reeling from the equipment losses. Nice, good job, guys. Actually, if I told just you guys in general to go, you might be able to push hard. Emilio Guerrero, you have anything for me, my friend? No? You can push then. I don't mind using my puppet's manpower because I'm going to annex them in the future, anyways. Even though some of you guys are really weak from Zotzil. The, the Hond Hondurians look okay. Zotzil and his people don't look super great. They don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Mm, let's see. Oh, that is... How much manpower? I'm sure that Santa Anna has plenty of manpower. Yeah, they got plenty of manpower and plenty of divisions. We definitely have to make sure we, we are ready and have a ton of piercing on our support equipment. Ooh, battlefield hierarchy. More, oh, more organization. Very nice. Ben S. Breakthrough armor. Eh. Just more special forces in general. That would be nice. Re ooh, recovery rate, though. Power armor. More defense. That could be really good to do as well. Ooh, but this is good. Fighter detection. But robots. Because we will be able to use robots. I'm not going to use power armor because we're already using spec ops. So robots might be good to use against enemy robots. Or we get more reliability. Let's do that. Because we have plenty enough army XP and we're only going to get more and more and more. So. Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Um, I really don't want to use you to attack, so give me half of you. And you can probably help attack here, you guys. I'll do selective attacks for now. Oh, you guys are really not doing super well. Multi-deck construction, more HP. Nice, let's get a trireme. Trireme, very nice, very nice. Production for next year will be good. Very, that's good, 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 good. Nice, one division left. They're attacking us. I didn't tell you guys to go crazy, so... Um, you don't need to attack. Let these guys finish off what they're doing. They're doing a great job. By saving my own manpower. Oh, it looks like... Oh, Moctezuma's definitely push, pushing into Petro Chico. But yeah, once we're done with Nueva Aztlan... Oh, no, 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 no. I was worried about this. Yeah, don't do that, guys. But once... Yeah. Really, if you think about it, is Santa Ana going to stop with taking out the Republic of the Rio Grande? No. They're going to take out everyone as much as possible. Uh, right now, they're pretty even on manpower in terms of divisions. Moctezuma definitely has more. They're really focused on attacking, apparently. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, boy. That's not good. Come on, Petro Chico, hold out as long as possible. Oh, you are using... I thought, you'd, I thought Petro Chico would be using more robots, but no, they're using spec ops and regular infantry. Oh, don't attack. Your divisions are too weak. Kanu Vegas War. Oh, the NCR is going to capitulate soon. Wow. More than four times the casualties for the NCR compared to Kaisar's Legion. Jesus. Monoplane attacker, very nice. Good, good, good. You can do this stuff, I wish, but we don't really need it, need it right now. Industry. More monthly population, recruitable population factor, and infrastructure construction speed. Thank you. We can speed up time just a little bit. Do that. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I still don't know where those air bases are. We made them. Am I not allowed to use air bases? Because over here we have level four. I don't see any. I might be blind, but it looks like there might be an air base right here. But, uh, where are the planes? Hello? Planes? Oh, we have planes over here. Okay, well, I built planes for no reason, but we have triplane attackers now. And we are going to love every second of using this for our own personal gain. Because why would you do something if you don't gain from it? 
All right, so really for the core stuff, I'm going to core Oaxaca first because it's the largest population area, so it's going to take quite a bit longer to do that. I could core Las Colinas de Oro as well as La Plant Plantacion, but I want as much manpower in the first bite, big bite as possible. Nice. You guys are doing well. My divisions. Make your way up that way. We will attack Coyuquillo Norte. I am so bad at Spanish, it's not even funny. I never took Spanish in high school. Took a year of French, and then took three years of German. That's what I took in high school. It's because I wanted to take German initially in high school when I was a freshman. But uh, they didn't have German, they had French or Spanish. I think that was it. Pretty sure that was it. But, anyways, nice. You guys did a great job. Good job. Um, losses, still pretty good, still pretty good for us. Still pretty good for our puppets, too, even though they're attacking quite a bit. Uh, you guys look actually pretty good. I don't mind using my own divisions for this to make sure that we can... Eh, maybe we can circle three more divisions. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, actually, that air base up here will be important. The air bases, we're, we're going to need to build a few air bases on our border with Moctezuma. Oh my gosh! Holy crap, that's a thick legion. That's so big! Broken Coast, Painted Men, Clearwater, and Yampa. That's so big, they almost own all of Cal... That's pretty much all of California. And as well as Baja, California. Trireme, nice. Let's get a brig next. But holy crap, that's... Oh um, my... Between the robots and the Neo-Romans, us Neo-Mayans, we're not looking so good. We gotta make sure we do well, at least what whatever co may come our way. Go ahead and do that. Supplies. Oh, we're doing so much better on supplies. We just need more demo equipment, and we'll be good. Cooling jacket, very good, very good. Um, recon, sure, sounds good to me. Nice. Um, yeah, just go ahead and attack. Yeah, there's a lot of divisions there, but if you pull a sneaky on them, you might not even have to fight any divisions over there. Up oh, yeah, at this point, I don't mind. Just I wanted to save ourselves so we wouldn't take too many losses, but. At this point, they don't look like they have enough divisions to actually guard the front line. They're out of manpower. I'm, I'm assuming right now that the AI is trying to build more divisions, and that's why all their manpower or the manpower level is down to zero. They only have 32 divisions max. Compared to us, they're screwed. I'm really surprised, though, they have not gone to pass civilian economy. I don't think that they're limited by that. Jesus. We thought the encirclement bad last time was bad, but oh my goodness. That's like 16 divisions there. Yeah, I can I can add. Yeah, 16 divisions. Ooh, Ernesto. I know you're sick, or you, at least you were sick. Ooh, but you're a very good leader, Ernesto. Thank you for playing. Uh, take in the puppet. Let's act this way. Very nice. Yeah, these these divisions aren't very good. 14 combat width isn't bad, but some of these guys are... I know they're really weak, and I could have made them stronger. Yeah, 8 combat width. You got a lot of support companies. Hey, why would you put a maintenance company on here? It doesn't even look like you get any benefit from that. You get where's the oh, I guess you can capture enemy equipment, but what if the equipment your enemy is using is just garbage? Like, seriously, man. All right, so make sure we do this again. Go right on ahead, just just go floor it. No, oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Advanced tools, very nice, very good, my friends. Uh, we are lacking some resources, so it might be a good time to go ahead and do electrical extraction for m more resource efficiency gain. You guys are doing a tremendous job. Go ahead when you can. We're going to end the war now and prepare ourselves for our war against maybe Moctezuma. I don't think he's allied with anybody. Oh, but he's fighting the Republic of the Rio Grande as well. Huh. What is that? A point Clatowney. What does that do? Oh, more stability war support, stability war support. You, oh my goodness, human sacrifices. Minus one manpower. Make offerings to the gods or the Aztecs. Hmm. Now, I could help strike Petro Chico for now. In the butt. Oh, but their independence is guaranteed by it. Okay. You guys. Um. I need more factories. Yeah, I definitely need to build more factories. So. Uh, we're building no military factories right now, which is a mistake. Do that. Uh, you know, no space over there. Do that. Do that. Oh my goodness, we need to build up more of our areas. Do that. We need to build. Build, 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 build. And once this war is over, we will definitely have more factories to work with, so that'll be kind of nice. 
go ahead and pull out one of these armies right now just so that we can focus on not losing too much equipment and we can use our puppets as manpower or sponges for now. Um, the war with, between them is not going super great. Oh, there goes Pecos Colony as well. You guys, you know what? I still have you guys over here. You guys are probably honestly need a train. I'm going to put you on the border between me, you, and the refinery. Just in case Moctezuma might win. Crop rotation, very nice. Um, we'll do irrigation next. You guys will come... Oh my goodness, this is a mess. I hate how much this is a mess sometimes. Do that because Moctezuma might win. Give me half of you guys. Come to this one. I'm already preparing for the next war. Um, and then give me half of that. There you go. Make sure we cover all of our bases up. And that's not too bad. That covers two tiles worth. That's not bad. Uh, nice. Spec Ops, you, you've done a great job. Spec Ops have done a really, really good job. I'll probably use Spec Ops again to navally invade our enemies, just in case, but we'll see what happens. Manpower is so good for them. Manpower is decreased. Increasing, perhaps, for these guys? Maybe? Maybe not? What is their losses like? So it's still Nueva Atzan War. Very nice. They're about to capitulate. Nice. Um, over here. Oh. Petro Chico. 15,000 loss. Holy crap! 107 versus 15,000.6? Oh, they're not even losing manpower. I was wrong. They're not even losing manpower. They're like, oh, touch my armor, big boy. I'm like, oh my goodness. Briggs? Um... Briggs are nice, but have you thought about piercing people? Nice. Good, good, good. Oh, you have no orders. Good. Uh, you know, let's start doing it like this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm definitely have to go and throw on some anti-tank here. You guys come over here. You do something like that. I'm going to have to make sure that we have enough close air support to lessen the enemy's armor levels. I think that's probably the way we're going to have to do that. If As long as we can... Relic at least close to piercing the enemy's armor levels. I would hope that we can maybe pierce them completely. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Um, just using planes will help determine if we can do well against basically Flawlock's sons. Not even just Moctezuma. But Santa Ana, Maximilian, Nueva Atzalan. Thank you for playing. Thank you to my puppets for helping me out. Oh my goodness, now that's a nice Chichen Itza. But the war is far, far from over, my friends. This is merely the beginning. We have Central. Oh, well, I mean, I guess, yeah, Central Mexico for the most part. Maybe not all of it, but most of Central Mexico under us. As well as portion of Central America. Good. So you guys go ahead. You know what? You go ahead and train it too. You guys, you don't need a lot of guys who need training, but whatever. And we have an extra 30 divisions. We, What would happen if I go to war with the Vice Royalty? I could do that. But that would just extend my front even larger. But that would give us a direct connection to Moctezuma. Now. Hmm. Factories. Go ahead and since the war is over, rebuild everything you can. Including the infrastructure because that would be good for us as well. Just rebuild everything. Except for these two. I want to make sure that we're always building stuff up as well. So, 171 factories. That's nice. That's really good. Um, I wish it was some sort of event that we could do, like, once we beat the enemy here, but whatever. Uh, my puppets did a great job. Wow, they were lacking a lot of stuff. Um, oh, they got plenty of manpower. They just don't have enough equipment. But who are you? Emiliano Flores. What happened to Commandant Luis? Hmm, whatever. So, I think that should be enough divisions on the border against these guys. Um, you guys... Oh, wait. I have a little border here. Hmm, yeah, I would probably have to navally invade. But I don't know how things are going here. I really need to see like how fast or how the war is progressing so that... Uh, uh, more piercing on this. 
3% more piercing for fire teams. I mean, this only gives us 8. 3% of 8 isn't very much. Just give me more soft attack for now. But, uh... Yeah, do I go to war with Moctezuma first? Maybe I can bait him into attacking my lines? Since if I try to attack Petro Chico, they're guaranteed by the Republic of the Rio Grande, but that's not really much of an issue, seeing as the Rio Grande, the Republic of the Rio Grande is getting squished from two sides, basically, from Kaisar as well as Santa Ana. So I would hate to be playing as the Republic of the Rio Grande right now. Uh, how are you guys doing? Kaiser's Palace, that's so many divisions, holy crap. Ooh, five more divisions, though. That's pretty good for us. There are you on here. Oh, we're... Yeah, we're gonna have to build this area up. So build up some factories. Build up an air base. And do that as well. But do Mexico City first. That'll be good. We need more guns, though. We definitely, definitely need more guns. We need more resources. We need more water. We need more... Circuitry. Hmm. I don't think anyone here... Yeah. Also, I have coffee here. I haven't drinking it yet, though. Hmm. The best thing we could do right now is just continue to build and continue to suppress our subjects because as you use them in the wars against your enemies, they will become more and more feel they will feel more and more liberated. Oh, it looks like Moctezuma is moving in. What would happen if I helped distract them for a little bit first? They have no ships, which is good. Let's see. Ninety days. Ah, we might as well start trying that out. Okay, regular divisions, you need some anti-tank on that bad boy. It only gives you 22.9 piercing. That might be enough against enemy armor. That might be good enough. Maybe, maybe not. Better specs. Oh, I forgot to put on fire teams. Uh, piercing doesn't really go up very much at all. So, as much as I like fire teams, it doesn't give you that much more breakthrough. Defense, yeah, it's a little bit better. Honestly, the fire teams aren't, maybe not worth it anymore. I mean, yeah, it helps you with defense. Eh, that's not bad, but, hmm, I don't know. Definitely, I need some anti-tank on these guys, though. Definitely, definitely, definitely get more anti-tank. It hurts our armor, but no one cares about armor. We actually get anti-air attack. We get air attack on our anti-tank. That's interesting. Uh, we got that, we got that. Um, these are divisions that we're using to guard our coastline. Do we really need anything here? I mean, this will give us more defense. Fire teams, that could be good. I don't really think I need to use these too much. Eh, maybe throw on a recon company, because why not? We didn't need supplies anyways, right? Oh my goodness, there goes the anti-tank stuff. Put you right at the top. So we need a lot of metal. When we have some metal, not a lot, but some metal. Support companies, that's good. Just keep building, building, building. Air bases will be very, very important for this. Go ahead and stop. Actually, go ahead and train for now. We only have 21. We used to have 23. How are, are our ships? Cancel lend lease. Oh, that's not good. We have a ton of battle cruisers. Holy crap. Eight battle cruisers and two light cruisers here. I think I'm making too many battle cruisers. Actually, I'm trying to repair too many things at once. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that we can at least build some stuff or repair some stuff or something. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, you come down here too. Trireme. Thank you very much. There you go. Can't even build it right now. That's, and that's okay. All these long boats need better stuffs. Everyone go ahead and repair if you need it right now. Since we're in a, a period of momentary peace. Now, I definitely won't attack. Maybe trying to justify on them early was kind of a waste of time, but whatever. Just keep building, keep building. Petro Chico, can I send you an Atache? No. Can I send Moctezuma an Atache? No. No one likes me. Pretty typical. All right, then. Factories doing better. Cyclops tried to declare war on East Ports. Okay. We finished another military factory, but I need more. And oh my goodness, we can... Oh, okay, we can put 16 factories in total in Mexico City out of 15 slots. I love this math. Hmm. Irrigation, nice. Go ahead and put these at the top. I think this would really help us out. Go ahead and do that. We'll get those to those factories soon enough. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Irrigation, very nice. And let's finish off. I want more multi-population industrial fertilizer. And then we'll do more resource efficiency gain as well. Ooh, focus fire. Hello there, more piercing. Oh my goodness, rocket launchers are good. We don't... 
Uh, we need them, but I need resources as well. So let's do steam-powered extraction, actually. Electrical extraction, very nice. Very nice, my friends. Ooh, we could probably do this as well. We're good on fuel cells for now. Um, engineering stuff, radar. I love, love, love radar. There's nothing I can do here. It's a buff. We get no buffs. Support, let's go with that rocket launcher stuff. And then, I, I remember now that I can get off of, su of suppressing my subjects for now. And now we can do picking up the debris that Atlan are gone or oldest enemy vanquished. In the aftermath of our triumph, we must enter a period of consolidation, incorporating what was once our enemies and making it our own. Their lands, resources, and people are now are now ours, subject to the might of the great It's a Nation. And then we can get to It's a Reign Supreme, so we can get more population, war support, and justify war goals time goes down by quite a bit. It keeps look seem seeming like every time I look over here for anti tank, I need more and more anti tank. Um, yeah. One factory isn't a lot for that. Put you below, put you below. I want to make sure that we get these civilian factories done fast. Because that'll help us build up more and more stuff as well. So, that's very, very important. Uh, planes, you know what? They're not super important right now. Factories, factories, factories. As well as output for resources. So, we need circuitry and we need water. We got heat resistant lenses. Um, where is the best place for the money that we can invest into the land? Hmm, there's water. Circuitry is over here, but eh. There's, there's no water and, oh, maybe, hold on. Water and circuitry, do that. Cool. Next up, Gatling lasers. Nothing like Gatling lasers to have a good time. It helps us with even more piercing as well. What is the, oh, two, oh my god. Gosh, there's a lot of things we can core. Holy crapola. Alright, so it looks like Moctezuma is still attempting to attack, maybe. Yeah, they're still attacking because one of those guys just retreated. You guys, oh, tall, oh, no, holla, holla, holla. I want, I wish I could, oh, actually, we can see their divisions. I, but I do wish I could see how much armor they had. Oh, they're using light and heavy robots. And so, okay, they're using recon companies and logistic companies, which is. Really, somewhat good for us. I say that because as you add on more support companies to your divisions, if they have armor, your armor levels go down, which is not a bad thing for us at all. Go ahead, you train this. You train now. You guys are just kind of hanging out. Go ahead and train. And we'll see what happens. I, I still know I need two divisions down here, but whatever. Picking up the debris, very nice. And then, oh. Ah, uh, Mexic Plalox babies pretty, pretty much can't exist to do this. Can't do that just yet, which is fine. Um, we're done on the right. We're done over in the left. Loyalty through love? Well, I'm going to annex you eventually in the end anyways. Uh, I want to save oops, this for later because I want to build this up later. Don't really need it right now. Kind of a waste if we did that. Don't really need to focus on the Navy. So we're going to go back to suppressing our subjects. Oh, Delta declared war in the 80s. Very nice. Very nice. You guys. Um, come on, Moctezuma. You are slowly winning. But it's so slow that I, I could probably finish the war faster than you could. It's incredibly slow for Moctezuma. I don't know why. Interesting to see that they're actually using um, some infantry as well. I, I used infantry. They have nine infantry battalions and one demolition battalion as well. Interesting. You know what we could do? Who are you? You three? Instead of you three up there. Give me, uh, you might as well keep time up. You three just come down here. I'm going to throw an entire army of my puppets right here. That should be good. And then I will throw you guys. Oh, oh, hello. They declared one of the cartel. You guys come down here. That might hurt the supply. Whatever. You have upgrades? Yeah, you do. Nice. Always a brilliant strategist. Gabriel Canalizo. Um, anyone have upgrades as well? Oh, to pill. Oh my goodness. Oh no, there goes the Republic of the Rio Grande. Oh my. Oh, that. Oh. You made Santa Ana go from the Atlantic now to the Pacific. Are you crazy? So much for free fighters and Republican values or Democratic values. But then again, who really, who really likes that stuff? You can't get anything done like that, right? Exactly, Mayan people. Exactly. Now, I could go to war for the satellite graveyard. But, uh... 
I, I, I might hold off on that. Just because we don't have the, uh, the anti-tank for that. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we're making two a day. That's not good enough. I need more resources, too. Hmm, I, can I go to closed economy now? I mean, I don't want to lose these benefits. I like the factory output, and we cannot go to closed economy. Mm, oh, we're done building infrastructure. That's good. All right, next up. So what do we really need? We really need water as well as circuitry. So wherever there is circuitry... Up, oh, right here. Uh, it's only one more, though. That really isn't much. That really, really, really isn't very much. And I don't want to attack these guys unless we have enough rocket launchers or anti-tank things to the point where we can most likely pierce the enemy. Uh, I think we're pretty much stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. As these guys are killing each other. I wonder when these sons are going to kill each other as well. What's Maximilian doing? He's pretty quiet. Promoting officer corps. Wait, Ejercito Mexicano has volunteers from Imperial Mexicano. Okay. Zapata, industrial fertilizer. Oh, man. Zapata has, like, no no manpower. Holy crap. Um, anything else that could help me push out more divisions? I don't think so. But let's get some more resources. 40, 43. That's not bad. Uh, come on, guys. Push harder. At least take Petro Chico out. You know what? I might just attack Petro Chico myself to get this over with a little bit faster. Yeah, because since they don't use... They seem to not use a lot of... Armor. Oh, that's gonna take so long, though. Why does it take that long? Gatling laser guns. Thank you. At When we are best for our spec ops, we get about 59.6 piercing. Holy crap, that's a lot of piercing. I think we should have enough piercing if we can get as much rocket launchers as possible to kill off the enemy. That's pretty darn nice. That's pretty good. Dave Ka'an. Next year's abundant, thank god. I could throw this on, but it hurts our piercing, actually. And it kind of hurts our movement a little bit, too. Is it worth it? Get a little bit more soft attack? I might train dogs, actually. Let me see. For support companies, I had to throw one more on there. The only one I haven't done is logistic companies, maintenance, and dogs. These give you more suppression, which we don't really need. It gives you more recon, which is nice, and a little bit more breakthrough. I like that. Manpower, suppression bonus. Um, train dogs. They give you even a little bit more breakthrough. Six more breakthrough. That's not bad. Six soft attack. Compared to Gatling lasers, which give you four breakthrough and 13 soft attack. Yeah, maybe guns are still better. Um, energy cell capacity, resource, oh, I should have done that one before, yeah, resource efficiency gain plus 3%, that's, I'll take whatever I can get, because this, this is looking better, but we actually are now out of composite materials as well, god dang it, um, that's good, oh, right here, it's good, yeah, let's do that for now, circuitry right here as well, that helps us with one each, okay, that's better, also, I'm joined here by my cat named Binky. He's sleeping on my chair, so I'm actually not sitting down. I'm on my knees because Binky deserves the best. Oh, oh, oh that's so bad for the ranchers. They're getting attacked on three separate sides. Oh, maybe even four. Holy crap. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, Kaiser. Can you just go kill the Washington Brotherhood? Go go north. Don't go south. Go north, guys. Go north. Uh, what's Santa Ana doing, though? Are, is he plotting to take out his brothers? No, he's building stuff. Okay. Um, can, can someone kill each other? Like, come on. Please kill each other. Oh, oh. Take this, guys. neo Maoist Thought. Zapata's new economic policy. Zapata worker malicious. Alright, then. You know what? By the time we, we'll be able to go to war with Petro Chico, they'll be dead. Oh, look at those divisions. They're so weak. Oh, my goodness. Make some more anti-tank. Come on, guys. <laughs> Give me that anti-tank. Uh, take off from the incinerators if you have to. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's probably bad. Eh, we still have plenty of incinerator stuff. That's good. Monoplane attackers we'll need more of. Uh, we have enough composite material. We Now we need more metal, which isn't ideal, but whatever. Vital point targeting. Very good. Even more piercing. I love it. So we're done with that stuff. I've actually neglected a lot of this stuff too. Common weaponry? Yeah, that, that would help as well. For more piercing. Mm. 
Ah, uh, you guys look pretty good. Don't need to waste any more materials. You don't need to waste any more materials as well. I doubt the Vice Royalty will go to war with us. I think they have a generic focus tree, don't they? Yeah, it's pretty generic. Or at least, yeah, it looks fairly generic, so. I doubt they'll go to war with us. Even if they do, I'm not really concerned. Spec Ops, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my Spec Ops. I'm not sure where I should really place them. We could, uh, yeah, we could navally invade somewhere along the line here. Cooling jackets, very nice. More reliability. Uh, that's pretty much it for that stuff. Robots, we might want to research our own robots, maybe. We got a couple more divisions, very nice. If we were to use our Spec Ops, I might navally invade the port behind these guys. Actually, I might take two tiles here. Potentially. And then attack this area. Uh, Santa Ana declared war on Petro Chico. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, um, let's go with a naval invasion then. I want to take that port definitely, but let's come up here. And I will end the episode very soon. I know I'm going to make this video just a little bit longer than normal, but we'll see what happens. Two, three, four. And then the rest of the spec ops, you four will attack that place. Nice. Go ahead and prepare yourselves. Concerning the line, a few divisions. I shouldn't need a ton of divisions to help hold the line. I shouldn't. But you never know. Oh, concerning naval stuff, yeah, we got plenty of naval stuff. Paddle steamer, sure, why not? Oh, we can't do that yet. So, there's really not much else. I'm hoping that you guys have... Piercing is not good for these guys. They definitely need more rocket launchers. Um, yeah, just focus on reinforcements for now. That's basically all you can really ask for. Oh, these guys got encircled. Oh, come on, just finish off Petro Chico. Put him out of the misery. Okay, maybe you won't. Look how weak these guys are. Oh my goodness. Can Santa Ana go to war with Kaiser's Legion? I think that would be better for everyone. Kaiser's not killing anyone. They're actually allied with the Great Khans. Man, if I was the Great Khans, I'd be kind of happy about that. Um, I need more infrastructure so I can build more things. Where's the best place to build stuff? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Build circuitry. We'll build some water. And then we'll build some factories where those things are. And then we'll build some more stuff here and then there. And then we might build a naval dockyard, maybe. We'll see what happens. It is my goal to build all this area up full of infrastructure eventually, so... That's pretty much what I always do every campaign. If I run out of things to build, I always, always build infrastructure. But that's pretty much all the time for we have today, guys. Um, we are just now basically waiting to go to war with one of Tlaloc's sons, or remnants, and to have a good time and a good war with them. But I'm waiting for, obviously, more anti-tank... Which we are finally improving upon by making 7.4 anti-tank rocket launchers every single day. So, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. I told you we'd beat Nueva Aztlan. We are now the rulers of Central Mexico, and as well as Southern Mexico. And even a little portion of Central America. Kaiser has beat the NCR, so this is terrifying. Santa Ana is basically the border between us and Kaiser's Legion. So, the world is looking like a very, very scary, dark place. So, uh, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. And check out the Discord link below, and I hope you all have a tremendous, great, tr awesome day.